Hi, welcome back. I'm Wonder in Logic. I go by Wonder Online. Welcome to another sketchbook tour. Technically, notebooks. Today we have two. This one is an old one and this one was done recently. They were both purchased in the work for very cheap. Unfortunately, I have no control, so I have about three more of these types of books. They're basically just white paper in a book, in a notebook. All right, so let's get with the first one. I did do a quick flip through, obviously, because anything that may be incriminated, gotta remove that, but most of it, it should be fine. Open it up. This was a meme template I did for art growing. I'm no longer a part of that server, so oopsie. Little man sketch. Using a blending stump, some acrylic, some quick sketches. <laughs> this was a tutorial by Mark Crilly and I remember I followed it to a T and I thought to myself, oh, amazing. And then I went on and drew this and I thought that was beautiful. This is watercolour. These two also using the tutorial by Mark Crilly or what I learnt. I drew these two. Love them. This was done using a reference. I don't know how I did this. I can't recreate it. That was when I was in the zone. Look at those hands, freaking amazing. Nonsense. Shading with a 4B pencil. And you like this, uncompleted. Trying to practice closing forms. And again, I think I wanted to do the 100 heads here. And then I gave up. This was me trying to predict the lottery. As you can see, I didn't win and I'm still here. Sad times. Some markers, trying to create OC, trying to create worlds, doodles, lockdown struggles, what do I do? What do I want to study? I still haven't studied half of these. La ha ha, writing, really quick form things, obviously lacking something mm, don't know sketches of OCs but I don't know how I did I really like it though this I like too again look at the hands on my days amazing trying to study the head very hard uh, studying studying this ended up becoming an acrylic painting that I'm really proud of. I may, I try to reach it, it's on my wall. I may include it somewhere or not, dependent on how good my editing skills get by then. Random doodles, random doodles, colour squatches more character, random something, portfolio notes, something random again, little misfortune, it's unfortunate, misfortune, little misfortune, mm, something for a game, popular things to draw, random again, doodles, More doodles. Doodles. One face. I think with these sketchbooks, I get tired of drawing in them very fast because there's there's nothing for me to do. There's no focus. I mean, not nothing for me to do, but there's no focus for them. And so I just end up drawing random stuff, and then I rip out the last few pages, and then I save those pages. And that's the end of this one. Well, back. Moving on to the second one. 
as you can see I labelled it no focus mixed I did decorate the outside with flowers and leaves but it's pretty much the same obviously we started off strong broccoli shading beautiful and then as we progress blank page with like an eye there Luna Lovegood I'm actually really proud of that I'm proud of most of the work I do not to toot my own horn but here we are these are good these were heads there we are let me use that white gel pen around in certain sections to make it you know beautiful um this was using the morpho books i did that for a couple of pages and then i think i got bored trying to do the head again something random was using a reference very hard this i like not that you can see it well but it's very nice more like sketches trying to draw overalls they're very hard now this was a prompt i, I think it was a week prompt but i did four days and i thought that's enough for me moving on i like this little creepy creepy mime person running away with balloons again drew the face don't draw the body because the body's hard this is acrylic an acrylic you i just go you know just build up forms and here's what it is this was bubble tea or my attempt at bubble tea face Stare into your soul. Really like these pages. I think I did really well on this acrylic. It's very cheap acrylic, so it's very shiny. That and I did put glue over it so it wouldn't, you know, transfer. I also like this. I think I used reference for this, obviously. Reference for this and this, because I can't draw people that well without references. I can draw their head in one direction. I'm very good at that. But I can't draw, you know, full bodies, muscles, all. they take forever. Face again, with acrylic, very shiny, shiny head. Try to draw food. Some more nonsense. Colour pencils. Trying to draw, trying to draw bibimbap. It didn't work. I mean, it kind of worked. I like it. A face again. Um, a person with an apple earring and astral boy hair practicing lines something for a background acrylic explosions this was acrylic background with acrylic markers I quite like it I, I do really like it these are alright more acrylic and acrylic markers this was just something I peeled off a paint palette. Yes, just post it notes. A building. And a bedroom. Not mine, mind you, but. Reminiscent from the school days. Acrylic. Shiny. Also acrylic. Postcard from Christopher Kaiko. More lines, more sketches. Oh, actually, this is from Sketch Timber. If you look very carefully, you can see like my ideas for the priestess, the hidden in the sunflowers. Most of them were pretty much one sketch, and I thought, yeah, that would do. How to draw, how to make a wreath, one sketch, that would do. Very simple, I didn't really think much from these. More acrylic. My well dressed frog. This is the origins. Both in books. 
me practicing how to draw a braid. The Mortar and Pastel Treehouse. Braid, braid, amulet, carriage. Carriage, carriage, very hard. Skip. Uh, just some more Scarecrow, Wizard, Owl, Tree. See, you can see I did these out of order. What is that? That's a gnome. A crow. A raven. I think it was a raven. It's my birthday. It was not my birthday. Funny enough, it was the day before my cousin's birthday. And I don't think he's 24. He's now 25. But I drew that. I don't know why. But I like it. Whoops. This was not acrylic, I think this was a whiteout, whiteout something, I don't know what it was, but it was acrylic background with this whiteout thing, I liked it, stuck it in, then used the whiteout thing for this as well, and I thought, mm, good enough. This is me trying to persuade myself that I don't need to buy a Colossal course, because I can practice, and I taught myself out of it, so, you know, woohoo for me. This is a sketch reference for a digital piece I did. That was the original face. And I think I took a picture of this and I uploaded it onto Twitter. And then we went from there and then I completed it. Markers, face, testing out color pencils. Cause my sister was going to throw hers away. And I decided, ah, I'll take those off your hands. And then I tested them all out and then rearranged them, which was a lot more effort than I thought and I kind of wish I didn't touch them in the first place. The vines will not leave, no wait, the vines will not let you go, no wait, the vines will not not let you leave. Here forever and ever, no way out, it's yet. Don't ask me, maybe I was feeling a bit angsty. Me saying, my art, what is? I want to do so many things. There's so many resources, but why? Why? Very dramatic. And this is me ripping out the last of my pages because I no longer want to work in this book. I thought the 18th of November and I thought, well, I'm not going to open this again, so I might as well take the pages and do something else with them. And that's it. That is the tour of these two sketchbooks. Interesting. Maybe not. Maybe interesting. Maybe not. Either way, there we are. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.